The movie opens in a lavish apartment in Istanbul, where we see a wealthy businessman named Engin. After getting ready, he gets on his stylish sports car and heads to work with his friend Sihan. On the way, Sihan informs him that his girlfriend Eda has been inquiring about him because Engin has been ghosting her for weeks. However, Engin replies that he plans on ending his relationship with Ida because she wants to get married, but Engin wants to leave a free polyamorous life. Moments later, the two men arrive at a residential area. Engin then asks an elderly man to vacate his home immediately because he intends to destroy it and build them all there. The old man refuses to leave, claiming that his children were born here and he has many fond memories of the place. However, Engin offers his family a luxurious apartment in exchange for leaving the property. Elsewhere, we see our other protagonist, Pelin, who is heading to her work with her friend Merv. Merv anxiously claims that although being over 30, she has yet to find a good guy for marriage. However, Pelin is irritated by her behavior and tries to assure her that there's still time to find the right person. Soon, the two arrive at their workplace and we see that they work for a wedding planning company. Their boss scolds them for being late and she also scolds Pelin, stating she has complaints from the bride and groom for meddling with wedding decisions. She then threatens Pelin to comply with their demands or she'll be fired from work. That evening, Merv suggests that she and Pelin go out together to a new restaurant's opening party. Meanwhile, Engin also happens to be in the same restaurant as Sihan, where they're on a date with two girls. Afterward, he goes to the kitchen to meet his friend Emre, who's a chef. Engin then talks about how he hopes to open his own restaurant one day where he can prepare excellent cuisine himself. Meanwhile, Merv claims that she and Pelin will meet their life partners in exactly 2 minutes and 41 seconds. However, they're shocked when they're approached by two older males who try to flirt with them. But Pelin insults the men and she and Merv walk away from there. As they try to leave through the back door, they accidentally enter the kitchen where they encounter Engin and Emery. Pelin and Engin are instantly smitten with one another, while Merv and Emre also fall in love at first sight. The scene then shifts to the next morning where Pelin and Engin awaken to find themselves in the same bed. They have no idea how they got there, and they notice that they're wearing wedding rings. The two immediately begin blaming one another, and they have no idea who owns this home. The doorbell suddenly rings, and as Engin opens it, he finds the caretaker who hands him the groceries he's ordered. Engin then asks the man whether he knows his identity and who owns the house, and it appears like the caretaker is surprised by this question. Just then, Engin hears Pelin shouting and goes to check only to learn that she found a photo of their wedding. They then check their social media accounts and find that there are several photos of them together. It's obvious that they're married, but the strange thing is that they've been married for two years. Now the two are confused and have no idea of what happened between them two years ago. So they decide to search the entire home for some clues. Just then, Engin sees surgical scars on his body and has no memory of what happened to him. But on the other hand, Pelin urges them to forget their marriage history and warns him not to get too close to her. With this, the two then start quarreling, and Engin tells her not to even dream of marrying someone like him. Afterward, Pelin receives a call from Merv, who requests that she come to work. She hurriedly leaves, and the caretaker informs her that he's washed her car. Pelin is surprised, since she had no idea she had a car. And when Engin wonders where his car is, the caretaker responds that he doesn't have one and rides his bicycle to do his chores. This leaves Engin surprised because he loved his car, and he's never ridden a bicycle in his life. In the next scene, Pelin arrives at work and worries about her boss's response due to the delay. However, she soon discovers that she is the company's owner and her former boss now works under her. Pelin is shocked by this and asks Merv how she got to be the boss, to which Merv replies that Engin invested in her company. The scene then shifts to Engin who arrives at work. People are surprised to see him and his former assistant informs him that he no longer works there since he sold the business to his friend, Sihan. Engin then storms into Sihan's office, accusing him of stealing his company. There, he sees his ex-girlfriend, Edda, who is now married to Sihan. Engin becomes even more enraged upon hearing this. However, Sihan informs him that it was Engin's own decision to abandon the idea of demolishing buildings and displacing their residents because he found his true love, Pelin, who changed his life completely. Later, Engin heads to a restaurant to meet Emery, and once he settles down, Emery informs him that Engin is the owner of this restaurant, which surprises him. Naturally, he tells Emery that he has no recollection of the previous two years, so he doesn't remember buying the restaurant. Emery replies that the doctor had cautioned him about the effects of his accident. Engin, on the other hand, has no recollection of being in an accident or when it might have occurred. 
Afterward, we see Engen and Pelin hanging out. And while Pelin is happy now that she owns a business and is doing well in life, Engen is frustrated. He claims that he needs to return to his previous life and that he wants to awaken from this nightmare. Therefore, the two decide to go to a relationship counselor. After describing their situation, the counselor suggests that they get to know each other better and understand why they fell in love and decided to marry in the first place. He then urges the couple to recreate their romantic memories. However, since the two have no memory of their relationship, they read Pelin's personal diary. They discover that their first date was at a theater, so they decide to go there. But just a couple of minutes later, they end up arguing. Now, they go to a beach and try to recreate what's written in the notebook by dancing with each other, but neither of them recalls anything. But the couple soon realizes that their first kiss occurred when Pelin took him to visit her neighborhood. So, the couple decides to go there, but Pelin is surprised to see that the area has been entirely destroyed and that modern houses have been built instead. Engen confirms that his company owns some of the buildings that have been constructed. Now, Pelin is furious at him for destroying her childhood memories. On top of that, she yells at him, saying they will never get along and requests a divorce as soon as possible. But Engen grabs her and informs the enraged lady that she has nowhere to go except the house where they woke up this morning. After that, the two decide to return home, where they're greeted by Pelin's parents and friends, who've arranged a surprise for their wedding anniversary. Pelin then asks Engen about his family, and he admits that his mother is dead and his father no longer speaks to him. After that, they try to find memories of their marriage by listening to the conversation between friends and family, but to no avail. Soon after, Engen's father shows up for the party, implying that they might have reconciled in the past two years. After the celebration, Engen's father advises him not to neglect Pelin, since she's changed him for the better. He reminds Engen about the accident two years ago when he was in a coma for weeks. The doctors were filled with dread due to his condition, but Pelin stayed by his side the entire time and took care of him. Furthermore, he informs Engen that she's the reason for their reconciliation. Afterward, Pelin questions Engen about why he was estranged from his father two years ago. Engen explains that his mother was sick with cancer at the time, but he wanted to be a successful businessman so that his mother might rejoice in his glory. He couldn't bear watching his mother dying slowly every day, so he decided to temporarily separate himself from his family. And when he heard of his mother's death while traveling, Engen was unable to attend her funeral. Due to this, his father ended the relationship and refused to forgive him for his actions. Later, in the bedroom, Pelin and Engen lie down with a pile of pillows between them and fall asleep. The next morning, Engen awakes to find his hair has gone white although it was normal the day before. Furthermore, the two are shocked when they discover that Pelin is pregnant. After that, they quickly check their social media accounts, only to discover that they've skipped ahead two more years once again. Afterward, hoping to get some help, the two return to the counselor for advice. Seeing this couple in a sticky situation, he claims that the issues in their relationship will disappear once the fear in their love life is eliminated. Following that, the two go to see their family to find out what happened over the last two years. But suddenly, Pelin starts feeling the pain of childbirth and she's rushed to the hospital. There, she gives birth to a baby girl, whom they name Zeynep. And later that night, it appears that the two of them are exhausted from the hectic day and decide to sleep. The next day, they awaken in the same house and rush downstairs, where they see their daughter has grown a few years already. However, for the first time, the two are happy with their lives and begin playing with their daughter. Engen tells Pelin that he's no longer interested in learning the truth about what's happening. Even if it is all a dream, he wants to stay this way because he feels happy with her. Now they realize that at this pace, they'll soon be old and die within a few days, so they decide to live their lives the best way possible. Therefore, the couple goes on an outing with their daughter, not worrying about what could happen next. That evening, Engen and Pelin finally kiss and make love to one another. They then retire to bed nervously, not knowing what would happen the next morning. Around midnight, Engen awakens to find himself alone in his old apartment. Meanwhile, Pelin awakens in her shared flat with Merv. The two then realize that it was all a dream and that they've returned to their old lives. Later, Pelin informs Merv that she's fallen in love and tells her about the entire dream. Hearing this, Merv advises she should see him in person, but Pelin claims Engen is a rich man and might not be interested in her. The next morning, Engen returns to all the places he visited with Pelin and recalls the moments he lived with her in his dreams. He then returns to his company and decides to drop the plan to demolish residential houses. So, he requests that his assistant arrange a meeting with his friend Sihan. Later, Engen meets Sihan and tells him everything that happened in his dream and decides to sell the company to him. 
Following that, he pays a visit to his father and apologizes for everything. Engen informs his father that he's met a girl and plans to marry her. And while leaving, Engen's father hands him his mother's necklace and requests that he give it to Pelin. Afterward, Engen receives a phone call from Ida, who reminds him about their appointment with a relationship counselor. Later, during the session, Engen surprises Ida by breaking up with her and telling her he loves another woman he saw in his dreams. Ida is outraged and asks him how he can leave her for someone he met in a dream. Now, while Engen tries to convince her that they're not good together, Pelin notices them from a distance and assumes they're in a relationship. She then tries to walk away, but Engen sees her and yells her name. Hearing his voice, Pelin becomes overjoyed, but as the two rush towards each other, Engen collides with a car and gets into an accident. Later in the ambulance, Pelin assures him that she's going to stay with him and promises not to let him go. And as instructed by his father, Engen tells Pelin that he trusts her and gives her his mother's necklace. The scene then shifts to several months later, where we see Pelin and Engen getting married. He gives a heartwarming speech about how Pelin stood by his side throughout his sickness and did not give up on him. Then, the two live happily together. And after several years, the dream comes true as Pelin gives birth to the same daughter she saw in her dream.